Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about the McLaren P1's rear differential and it's pretty interesting because this is a car that's sending 900 horsepower to the rear wheels and you know it's a car that costs well over a million dollars and yet it's using an open differential. So we're going to kind of talk about the logic of how this system works um, starting with talking about tire loading. So if you've got a car and you're accelerating out of a corner as you're in that corner, you're of course going to shift the weight to those outside tires. Those outside tires are going to have a higher load than the inside tires, more weight resting on them, more load resting on them. And so your wheel torque is going to be limited by the loading on the tires. So this is a rear wheel drive vehicle, which means this outside tire, uh, the wheel loading, the amount of torque that this is able to put down, the force that this is able to accelerate with is equal to F equals mu N, this equation that we use all the time, force equals the coefficient of friction between the tire and the road, multiplied by the normal force, the force of the ground pushing back up on the car, um, so the loading on that tire. So the outside tire will of course uh, be able to accelerate with a higher force than the inside tire simply because there's less weight, less load resting on that inside tire. Most of it is on the outside tire as you're going around that corner and you're trying to accelerate out. Now here's the problem with the open differential. Open differentials always have a 50-50 torque split. And you may be confused on this. A lot of people don't get that they actually do have a 50-50 torque split. I've got some other videos which you can check out that explain why this is. Um, but Essentially what we need to know is that there's a 50-50 torque split. And so if we're looking at uh, this McLaren's rear axle and it's trying to accelerate out of this corner, it has more loading, so the torque is coming into the open differential, it's splitting between the tires, it's got more loading on this outside tire, this is our left tire going around that corner, and so it can accelerate with a greater force uh, with that tire. But because it's an open differential, we're limited by this right side, so we have our torque coming in, goes across to both axles, and then it reaches its peak right here. If you accelerate past this, the tire is going to start to slip. So you reach your limit there, and because it's 50-50 split with an open differential, that's also your limit here with the left tire. Now by using the brakes of the vehicle, you can mimic a limited slip differential. So what's going to happen is, your wheel torque is going to come in, it's going to split between the two axles, and then it's going to go, you know, it's going to reach this point right here, and then this is going to say, you know what, you can't exceed this, so it's going to use the brakes, and it's going to continue to apply more force so that this outside tire here reaches its maximum force, but this wheel is going to apply brakes so that the force applied at the wheel is less than on this tire. So you hold this one back, you restrain it, and your overall force is going to remain like this, versus on this side your overall force is going to be your actual theoretical limit. And so you're able to apply more torque overall uh, by using the outside brake. You're still sending the same torque to both wheels, you've just increased how much torque you're sending to both wheels, and then you're limiting it on this right tire by using the brakes. And so this is kind of like a little clever trick that you can use with brakes to get around uh, not having a limited slip differential. Another trick that McLaren does is they have something called brake steer. And so what they do is as you're entering the corner, you're going to apply more braking force to that rear right tire, and that's going to bring the nose of the vehicle closer into the apex and improve your cornering entry. Uh, and one of the things McLaren likes to say on their website is this is a, you know, banned Formula One technology. I mean, all kinds of things are banned in Formula One. Uh, so kind of irrelevant to say, but a cool technology nonetheless that they use to help with corner entry. So, you know, why would you do this? Um, that's not a question I necessarily quite understand. This is a super expensive vehicle, so, you know, cost complexity um, aren't really, you know, those are downsides of limited slip differentials, yes, but if you're paying $1.3 million for a car, you're probably not worried about, you know, a few extra $100 or $1,000 for a Torsen limited slip diff, or you know, a torque vectoring limited slip, something like that. Um, so you know, it, it can be a little bit confusing uh, why you know they would choose to do this, but the solution works nonetheless. Um, you know, open differentials are a simpler solution, and you know that may give them uh, maybe perhaps some better cornering characteristics without having that feature of the limited slip differential interfering with how it corners and only using the electronically controlled brakes to you know uh, challenge the way that this thing corners and you know make sure that it optimizes uh, where that braking applies on each wheel as it's going through a corner. Uh, so a bit of a mystery as to why they do it but it is a solution that works which is pretty cool to understand. So thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below.